All right, today is September the 22nd, 2022. We're gonna be harvesting some of the pumpkins in this field, basically all of them, and we're also gonna be doing a gourd harvest, so be sure to stick around to the end, and 88% of people that watch these videos are not subscribed, so click it. All right, so to be able to harvest these pumpkins, what we need is we need to take some hedgers or clippers or whatever you wanna call them, and we need to cut the base off of these pumpkins, so let me go do that real quick. Alright, so we have one right here, and what we need to do is we need to go down here, and while it does sound a little bit um, bad for the pumpkins, they're already dead, so it's not really doing that much, and well, we, we will come across pumpkins like this a lot that are just dead, so we need to throw them like that, because well, they're not really going to do that much for us anymore, and we just pull this bad boy out of here, that's what we need to do, we need to pull them out of here, so that way we can get all the pumpkins we need off of this guy. And I'm thinking this guy's pretty big because I can feel a lot of pumpkins on this. So this is the full vine right here. And while it looks like we have two on this, they're both pretty decent in size. Well, maybe three, I don't know. It looks like we have three good sized pumpkins on this. So yeah, what we're I'm expecting to get maybe like six to ten pumpkins today because we got like eight plants. But you know, we could get more. So what we need to do is we need to take these clippers right here. And what we need to do is we need to clip this vine off. Like so. Alright, so we got these three pumpkins out of this one plant. We're just gonna end up throwing it out because, well, there's nothing else on it, and well, it's really good compost for the wildlife. And anyway, it's starting to get dark, so I need to get this thing out quickly. Alright, so next we got this one right here. This guy, I don't know how much we're gonna have on him. But we do want to cut this guy near the base since there are vines going several directions here. So we're going to cut it like that. And we are going to take it out like so. And well, we're going to pull it like this. And we are going to... Oh, I think there's a bunch of pumpkins attached to this one. Because this guy is coming out strong. And there's also another one I want to harvest off of this one, this vine too. So we're just going to harvest this, and it looks like there's nothing on this one. Other than some leaves, and yeah, if you're wondering why there's just a flower there, it's not going to come in or anything. Alright, so it looks like on this vine we've got about two pumpkins, and well, let's cut both of them off. Alright, so it's time for pumpkin number three. I don't know how many we're going to get off of this. So far I've gotten five, and I'm actually really surprised, impressed, even though you're usually supposed to get a little bit more from most of these plants. I'm a little bit actually pleasantly surprised because it's starting to store, sort of put my expectations at maybe a little bit more, maybe 20 or 30. I honestly don't know. But I am hoping for maybe at least like 20 or 30 pumpkins. That is for sure. You know, because who doesn't want any good pumpkins? Yeah, we're gonna harvest two vines out this time. I'm just wondering how many is in this one. Looks like this one's just a dead vine, so we just have to throw this one out. But this one on the other hand, this one is a little bit more of an alive vine. And this one I think has a couple of pumpkins on it. Yep, it does. Indeed it does. I think. I'm hoping. Because if it doesn't, I'll cry. Because I saw some back there. Well... It was a little bit of a disappointment, if you catch my drift, but... There's a really just weird vine that was just randomly caught off of this one. So I'm guessing this one has to do with this vine. Because, well, it looks like it was fairly recently caught off, maybe by, like, an animal or a windstorm. Because, you know, we got a pretty big thunderstorm here earlier today. But, yeah, we can now safely have this number that was originally two up to three. So we got two pumpkins out of this vine, not surprised, not surprised. And also, in a couple ones, we are going to be harvesting a green pumpkin. That's completely fine. There are several variations that are green on this one, and there are several that are orange. And yeah, look at all that fog over there. It looks nice, right? Alright, so I'm thinking this row is going to be the one with that big pumpkin, but yeah, we are 
going through this pretty quickly. Hopefully it'll be this quickly. But yeah, we need to pull this. Well, it looks like there's nothing on this one. Or at least this side of the vine. Yet. But I'm hoping we'll get a couple. Well, it looks like we're getting one out of this vine. Maybe two, I don't know. Yep, just the one. All right, we can do this on camera. Anyways, let's take these clippers. Let's get clipping. All right, we are going to put that like so, and we have a pumpkin from this plant. All right, so we got this. I don't know how good you can see this, but this is a big pumpkin, and I actually got this from one pumpkin vine. It's amazing, right? All right, so just a quick correction, even though you can barely see this, but this is now the biggest pumpkin. It's huge. I'll show you down there. All right, it's starting to get pretty late out here, so I'm probably gonna end up spending a couple minutes on every plant. Plant is about two to three minutes per plant. So I can get this done before eight on the entire garden. But yeah, we're having this one too. So far we got maybe, I haven't counted, but I'm thinking like seven or eight so far. Cause I just got like another one. So yeah, we got six so far. Uh, we got these guys. We got it coming out of two directions. So I'm just gonna pull these guys back. Oh, this is a big vine. This is a big vine. This is a good vine, I will say. This is one vine that's gonna give us some steady production this year. Anyways, let's hop into time last mode. Alright, so we got four in this row, it's pretty nice, and these are actually pretty decent sized pumpkins.